Cancer, welcome to your reading. This will be a past, present, future with clarifiers. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, thank you for your help today with Cancer's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's going on. We're using the Enchanted Soul Tarot by Yasmin Westwood and Tarot of the Divine to clarify. And then we'll pull a card from the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed All right, let's see what's going on, Cancer. There you go. Sliding out with a Four of Cups. Disappointed disappointed in the way things went in the past. They didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to. Followed by the two of coins doing a balancing act, juggling things, going back and forth. And judgment. Rising to your highest self, answering the call to make the best decision. In the current energies, we have temperance, balance, and healing is needed. It's going to take time and patience with temperance. Right at the heart of your reading, the Queen of Swords. You're making a declaration here, setting your boundaries, setting the rules. What do you require? Followed by the Eight of Coins. You're hard at work at something. Mm-hmm. This is what you're focused on. And in the immediate future, we have the Seven of Wands. Stand in your ground, keeping the unwanted energies at bay, blocking, rejecting, whatever it is you don't want that might be coming at you. You say, nope, you're not getting through here. Followed by the queen of coins. This is self-care, self-nurturing, very grounded energy, very supportive energy, healing, good with the resources, very stable, very reliable very nurturing energy followed by the Empress speaking of nurturing she's the most nurturing this is major arcana we're talking about creativity to the max very grounded very stable very desirous yes yep she's pretty perfect she's kind of the balance of all four queens the overall energy of your reading the king of coins perfect match to the queen of coins over here this guy is the masterful manager of all things manifested the resources the things the toys whatever they are in life the business entrepreneurial all that good stuff really great at managing all of those assets and the reason we're here the Eight of Wands. We're making things happen. We're moving the energy. We're communicating. We're having energy exchanges. Things are happening quickly. All right. Excellent. Let's start out clarifying how you're showing up over here in the overall energy of your reading with this King of Coins. You could be in business, a business person, an entrepreneur, a manager, something and if you're any of those things, you're very good, very stable, very reliable, edit, successful. Show us the King of Coins. What does Cancer need to know about the King of Coins and the overall energy, please? And we have the High Priestess. You call in your intuition when it comes to how you manage things. Taking things to the next level takes time, but you're doing it. And towers. Ooh, a tower. This is about shaking things up. Going to the next level. Shaking things up. Alright, we'll see what's going on about this tower in the rest of your reading. But something shocking. Some big shocking changes to shake things up there. The reason we're here, the Four of Wands. This has to do with uh, a relationship, perhaps a committed one. We'll find out more. Let's take a look at the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Feeling disappointed in the past because things just didn't go the way that you wanted. Pretty upset back there. Why is the Four of Cups here? What does Cancer need to know, please? Okay, there we go. 
Queen of Swords, right at the heart of your reading, repeating energy already. Something about your rules, your boundaries, your limitations, something you declare, perhaps um, didn't go the way that you wanted. Maybe somebody violated those boundaries, didn't follow your rules. I don't know. Let's see what else comes out. Two of Swords. Something you can't see or that you don't want to look at involving a decision or indecision I should say the Queen of Swords is very decisive she knows exactly what she wants this is what I want this is how it has to be this is what I require but then followed by the two of swords maybe not looking at everything all right and the four of wands there it is there's that relationship we just saw underlying the reason that we're here showing up back here disappointed about it disappointed about the, the level of commitment something that you don't want to see or that you can't see about this some kind of declaration was made either by you or by your person some kind of indecision by your person uh, I don't know let's see let's see what else the reason we're here Knight of Swords somebody took action very quickly they rushed in they took action what kind of action well it looks like they made a declaration this is what I need this is what I want and then there was some indecision around this perhaps on your part but either way it all ended in disappointment this isn't what I wanted this isn't what I was asking for what are you coming at me with this yeah you're not happy about it back there that's for sure all right gotcha Let's move on and look at the two of coins, this balancing act. Doing some sort of balancing act, going back and forth, back and forth. Hmm, doing okay, keeping the balance. But that's got to be tiring to stay that way for any real length of time. And we have oh, five of coins. This is abandonment, feeling out in the cold, feeling lost, feeling forsaken, forgotten about, lack of some sort, lacking in some way. Queen of Coins, there she is coming up later, perfect match to the king over here, so it has to do with your match. This very nurturing energy, this queen left you out in the cold, is that what happened? Somebody came in, the queen came in and said X, Y, or Z, and you felt abandoned back here while you were juggling multiple things perhaps taking care of business taking care of finances taking care of stability in multiple ways and then and then this disappointing thing happened all while you were busy doing a balancing act trying to keep things together and eight of cups yeah that's what happened look somebody walked away somebody disconnected here somebody said you know what I'm not feeling it. This isn't enough for me anymore. I gotta go. I think it was the queen. I think it was this queen. Your match. Your lovely match. And it left you doing some kind of juggling act. You're just sitting there juggling. Juggling all the different things that you do as the king of coins which is many things you're taking care of all the manifestations all right and the reason we're here knight of wands yeah similar to the knight of uh what do we see we saw it underneath here the knight of swords that's what it was, it was underline now the underline is the knight of wands yeah somebody came in and took some kind of action passionate action it felt like um uh, like a rush, like a, like it was premature, uh, you know, adolescent, maybe you think that they didn't really think through things, that they just came in and they weren't feeling it anymore, and they just said, I don't want to do this anymore, I, I, I don't want to, this, this commitment is disappointing, I'm not into it, this relationship isn't what I wanted, I gotta go, it's, it's just not what I, it just isn't working out, and so, abandoning you either uh, abandon them or they abandon you. Either way, you guys split and went your separate ways back here. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. Judgment in the recent past. Judgment, making a, a major decision here. Trying to rise up. 
make the best decision possible from your highest self. Judgment, why is it here? What does Cancer need to know about the Judgment card in the recent past? King of Cups. Very calm, cool, and collected in all of the storm and the turbulent, choppy waters. At least that's how you're showing up. Mm-hmm. Seven of Coins, assessing the situation from a balanced state of mind, of heart, of emotions. Very stable. And we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, from a very emotionally balanced place in the middle of this storm that you're not happy about, you assess the situation and then take action to make some sort of judgment call. You sure do. Okay, that looks like a good place to make a decision from. Whatever your decision is, let's look at this. The reason we're here, Ace of Wands. Speaking of decision, this is an opportunity to take some kind of bold action. That's what that Knight of Swords is ready to do, to rush in, to make a judgment. Because it's time to take some action. There's a new opportunity here. Yep. Okay. Good energy to do that from, that King of Cups. Let's take a look at temperance in the current energies. Balance and healing over time. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Why is temperance here? What does Cancer need to know about temperance? There's that Knight of Wands again. How about that? All right. Excellent. That's, it's kind of t opposite feelings, really, because temperance is all about having patience, but the Knight of Wands, that's impatient. Judgment, wow. Impatient judgment when it comes to the balance and the healing and the things that take time. We're impatient. We don't have time for this. That's what you're telling me. The Emperor, I'm in control. I have my own strategies. I don't have time for this. It's time to make decisions. Let's go. That's what you're telling me. It's pretty much like, no, I don't need temperance. Underlying energy, the Seven of Swords. This is some kind of sneaky energy here. Somebody's ready to take what they have and move on. Kind of in a sneaky way. Creeping out. Somebody's creeping. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the Queen of Swords coming up next. These are the declarations and the requirements that you have. What do you say, Queen? What do you say, Queen? What does Cancer need to know about this Queen of Swords? Look at that. Temperance. Temperance, judgment, judgment, all these repeating energies. This is going to take time. Balance and healing is needed. Ace of Wands again. Bold action opportunity here. Tied up to unhealthy patterns. Unhealthy patterns with the devil showing up. Perhaps this particular queen um, is very demanding, my way or the highway. This is the way it is. This is the way I do temperance. We'll do it my way. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying over here, too, with the emperor. Uh, I don't need that. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for these things that take time. I'm going to take my own bold action. I'm going to do it my way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Because this is ego-based here, is what it feels like. Yep. Underlying energy. Eight of coins. This is what you're working on. 
and you don't look too happy at what you're working on in this particular artwork. Uh-uh. Um, this beautiful lady is putting together pentacles, but doing it with thorny vines. So she's getting stuck constantly. She's bleeding on her hands as she's doing this repetitive work, making the pentacles. And she's on her eighth pentacle in this eight of coins, and it's just she's bleeding. There's blood all over her feet and all over her hands, and she's just, she's pissed. She's like, I'm doing it my way, but look what the result is. It kind of hurts. It's hard work. Speaking of hard work, it's the next card, Eight of Coins. We're going to clarify that now. Clarifying the Eight of Coins. Why is it here, please? Why is it here? You know, before we even go on, I was just drawn to look back over here at the overall energies. Boss person, Cancer, throwing in a tower to shake things up. This looks like the tower shaking things up right here. I don't have time for all this balance and healing and things that take time and patience. Uh-uh. I'm making an executive decision. I'm in control. I'm the emperor. I need to hurry up. Knight of Wands. Uh, taking bold action over temperance. Uh, but again, tied up to shadow energy. Things that aren't healthy behaviors. Uh, throwing this tower in. Yep. It's like you're throwing the tower in your own life uh, here. It's what it feels like. All right. Now that I've looked back at that. Eight of coins. Why is it here? What does Cancer need to know about the final card in the current energies? The eight of coins. Working real hard. Working real hard. Getting stabbed by those thorns while you're working. Okay. And we have Justice. Justice coming in. You want to make things right. Holding on. Holding on tight. Not letting go. And yet, trying to have a new beginning with the fool. Four of coins is not letting go of this thing. You want to make things right. You want to bring in the balance, but... You're doing it in such a way that it's not really healthy over here because you you didn't give the time for the balance. You said, no, I got to rush. I'm in a hurry. I don't have time for this. I'll do it my way. So while you would like a new beginning, it's like the way you're going about it over here is kind of rough. I can't lie. The reason we're here, King of Wands. We're here because you feel that you're taking masterful action. You're confident in your actions. This will work my way. I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. I'm logical. I'm confident. I'm capable. I'm following what drives me. I'm listening to my inner guidance, which is, you know, for the king of wands, it's all about passion, excitement, inspiration, And uh, just some real kind of fiery energy. You know what I mean? So that's what's happening. That's how you're handling the situation of what takes time to heal. You're like, ain't nobody got time for that. All right, moving on in the immediate future. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. You're standing your ground. Any energies that come at you, you're just like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Rejected. You're not getting past here. It's a blockade you're putting up. Mm-hmm. Why is the Seven of Wands here? What does Cancer need to know about the Seven of Wands? Okay. So, we've got five cards came out for you. Page of Swords. Pay attention. Get ready. You're in learning mode here, taking a closer look at things, followed by the Ace of Swords. It's an opportunity for clarity and truth. While you stand guard, maybe perhaps this gives you a chance to take a look at things a little closer like that. The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, Wheel of Fortune. 
getting clarity. How do I turn this boat around? Knight of coins. Because things are moving really slow. In fact, they're at a standstill and <sighs> having a hard time turning that wheel, huh? And your final card, the lovers. This is something that's tied up to your heart. Some some very important connection here. Kind of connection that doesn't go away. Even when you break up, even when you part ways, even when you go splits in different directions, it's still with you. The energy is still with you. And the reason we're here, yeah, things are hard. You had to call in strength. You need to muster up your strength to keep this rejection blocking type of energy away. Perhaps that queen, this queen of coins that we saw that showed up as the queen of swords back there, uh, which feels different than this queen of swords. That one came in and, you know, made some sort of decision or something. Or maybe that was you. Maybe that was you doing that back there. And you're the one that ended it. And then you're disappointed about about ending it. Or about setting the, setting the scene for the requirements. The rules. The boundaries. People had to follow your rules. But that queen. The queen didn't like it. The queen walked away. She's like, uh-uh. This isn't for me. This is not for me. I, I, I'm abandoning this. Or you abandon her. Something like that. Y'all split. But this queen is still on your heart. And maybe on your heart forever. Regardless of what happens. But you'd like to turn the wheel. You'd like to change things around. But it's almost like. You got yourself into this. You threw this tower I think. I think it was you. That created this tower. Um, by your own actions. And. And now you're like, ugh. It's like you feel stuck in it. Like, how do I get out of this? Here I am standing my ground. Almost like you're doubling down. No, I'm not going to go that way. Doubling down. But it's really not working out so well. As you stand there doubling down on your rejection, there is, there's opportunity for you to, to learn here. There's opportunity for truth and clarity and to change things with the Wheel of Fortune. But stubborn the knight of coins just sort of stands there and doesn't really move he's just he's on his horse and this particular uh artwork he's on his cow or bull or whatever it is some sort of steer but it's just standing there not going anywhere yep and and what also is not going anywhere is this connection on your heart yep and speaking of the connection on your heart this is who it is, this Queen of Coins, this very nurturing person. Very feminine, homemaker, compassionate, nurturing, grounded, beautiful energy, very supportive energy. Here she is, showing up in all her beauty. Why is the Queen of Coins here and what does Cancer need to know, please? Eight of Swords. Stuck. Confused. <coughs> Queen of Cups. She's a very forgiving, loving, and nurturing type of person. She or he, whoever this represents for you, this Queen is a uh, really wonderful energy five of swords winning at all costs but it leads to heartbreak here in this card it's it, it's really not winning whatever it is it's a card of ego perhaps in your attitude you or they recognize that that is what you're interested in winning at all costs even if you know you got to have it your way the queen of swords my way or the highway i'm not 
I don't want to take time to heal it. I don't want to take time to bring in balance. I don't want to take time to have patience about this. I got to go. I got to go. Eight of Wands, got to go. We got to move the energy. I'm all about speed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But again, with that Knight of Wands, we saw multiple times the Knight of Swords in a hurry, in a hurry, making these quick decisions, quick actions, opposite of temperance, opposite of moderation, opposite of that type of balance. The Five of Swords overrides the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is caught between this, this confusion, this mind tornado of confusion and stuck energy and the Five of Swords, the egoic, my way or the highway kind of energy. I don't care, I gotta have it my way, even if it's a sacrifice to something else. But it looks like you're sacrificing this Queen energy, sacrificing temperance along with the Queen. And the reason we're here, strength, yeah, it's hard. Second time we're seeing this underlying because it's hard. The inner beast needs to be tamed, but it's not. It's it's on full show here, full display. All right, moving on, looking at the Empress, the balance of all four queens, Mother Gaia herself, that creative, that nurturing, that balance, that desirous, that stable, that grounded, all of it all the good things why is the empress here what does cancer need to know about the empress please seven of swords some kind of sneaky energy could be deceitful the moon things that are hidden secrets buried emotions things like that things yet to be revealed Seven of Cups, choices, options. That's what you're doing. You're exploring options. You're like, you know what? Yeah, Queen, you were great. Yeah, you're on my heart. But you didn't want to do things my way. So I am exploring my options. I'm looking for an Empress. I'm looking for somebody more balanced than you, more creative than you, more nurturing than you, more everything than you kind of thing. Like perfect. I'm looking for the perfect thing yet to be revealed and there's some deception here around this perhaps you keep thinking you meet your empress and then it's deceiving it's not the empress and then things get revealed and you're like oh god i gotta explore my options again <laughs> i don't know i'm just putting words to the the meanings of the cards you take it as it fits for you you know what's going on you i'm telling you the meanings you see who's showing up you know what's going on the reason we're here, four swords. We're on a break. We're on a break. We're here because we're on a break. We're taking a time out and uh, we're trying to get our thoughts straight because uh, I think you're feeling the chaos of this. You know, you didn't get what you want. You're like, next, moving on. I don't have time for this. Let's go. There's somebody else. That's what you're saying. But you, you caused the tower is what this is saying over here. You thought you were listening to your intuition by calling in the high priestess. That's not your. That's that's not what the high priestess does. That's your mind. You're you're listening to your mind. You're listening to your um, your uh, impulses. That's what it is. Your impulsive knight of wands, knight of swords. Kind of. I don't have time for this. I'm more in control over here with the emperor, who would be the perfect match to an empress if they were not tied up to this egoic control over here that's tied up to this devil, this shadow energy. Like I said, energies can be fluid or are fluid, period, not can be, but roles can be reversed. So whatever energies you identify with, you or your person, this whoever this reading is for, these are the energies that showed up. And you'll recognize them if the reading's for you. If it's not, leave it for someone else. You probably already have <laughs> by this time if it's not for you. Unless you just enjoy watching the story unfold as spirit arranges the cards. We're going to pull from the enchanted map over here. Spirit, what special message do you have for our Cancerian friends that are going through these energies at this time? 
whoever this reading is for, what special message do you have from the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed Yes. There it is. Look at that. Oh, what a sweet card. Beautiful card. It says, come together. It's card number eight. Beautiful giraffes getting a kiss. And it'll have a short paragraph for me to read for you, so stick around. This is the message Spirit wants you to have. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all of its forms of expression. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a, re a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you're attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Yeah, I don't think you have any trouble meeting people with your charisma, charm, mastery of the skills that you have mastered as that king of coins. Uh, but it is about coming together. What was that last line? Let me pull that back up. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Well, it doesn't feel like you care very much about this part of it, the temperance part of it back here. The moderation, the balance, the healing, and the patience. So that's what we have for you. I hope it helps. And sometimes tarot, it's hard to look at. Sometimes the truth hurts. Maybe you're aware of it on some kind of level. You probably are because you are very intuitive. If you pause to think about what you may have tried to control and rush through and maybe not been the most patient at, you can see how that might get in the way of this uh, love that, that you had, this, this good match between a king and a queen. Uh, what might have interfered is this control and unhealthy patterns. Emperor, Devil, and the speed of the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, energy of my way, highway, gotta go, gotta do it now, I'm in a hurry. So those kinds of things cause destabilizing energy of towers that get in the way. And if you want to bring harmony to the situation, we need to look back. Oh, speaking of which, look at this. Let me just show you this. I don't know if you can see this at this closeness or if you want to pinch your screen up bigger or the best way to see my readings are on a big screen TV because you can see it really well but there's some keywords they put down here at the bottom the very second word is harmony so it's all tied up to this and um, the impatience that you felt around something having to do with what was needed with that showing up a couple of times temperance and you're like nope so, uh, yeah, that throws a monkey wrench in things on top of things that were already happening. So, uh, anyway, I hope it helps when we can see things from a bird's eye perspective. If we're willing to be honest and take a look at ourselves as tarot is meant to do, be introspective work. Um, it can be really, really helpful moving forward and helping you to make maybe different decisions so that you can turn the wheel right here. And it's not halted. That's how it came out. The wheel first and then the knight of coins. Turning the wheel of fortune. Halted. Or slowed down to such a degree. That it's in the way. Being rejected. Alright. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. If you didn't like it. 
you can say that too tell me what you think that's okay just remember this reading may not be for you and if you are feeling angst about it or upset about it then it probably is for you and don't shoot the messenger because it's spirit moving the cards not me all right I look forward to reading for you next time. Take care, guys.